Steakhouse presents example one. History disproves the notion that imagery is fine so long as it is not worshipped. Answers from E. R. Goodnell. Historical view. Next up, history disproves the notion that imagery is fine as long as the image is not worshipped. In addition to the previous, I'll give more examples of why people, including church leaders and Bible commentators, are misguided when they say that imagery is fine as long as it is not worshipped. Following are five quotes from observations made throughout history by reputable sources with references as to how God's second commandment was understood and followed by his people. Seven examples throughout history. Number one, complete effective rabbinic ban by E.R. Goodenough. Number two, contemporaries meant what they said by Cecil Roth. Number three, human images not tolerated even when a worship, Cecil Roth. Number four, our law forbids us the making of images by Flavius Josephus. Number five, these likenesses violated the second commandment ban by Richard L. Mattis. Number six, minting coins free of images by Shane J.D. Cohen and number seven, the unlawful art of painting living creatures from the Seventh Synod held in Constantinople and Hiera in 754 AD. Example one, a completely effective rabbinic ban on any sort of iconographic representation for whatever purpose. Quoted from E.R. Goodenough's monumental work Jewish symbols in the Greco-Roman period. What is the meaning of the word iconographic? The word iconographic means representing something by pictures or diagrams. The problem of the attitude of Judaism towards art and images at the beginning of the Christian era has again come to the forefront of scholarly inquiry as a result of the publication of the first volumes of E.R. Goodnorth's monumental work, Jewish Symbols in the Greco-Roman Period. In these learned pages, every particle of evidence bearing on the subject is carefully considered and the author emphatically confirms as fundamental to his main thesis the accepted view that, at least up into the destruction in the year 70, there was a completely effective rabbinic ban on any sort of iconographic representation for whatever purpose. Quoted from an Ordinance Against Images in Jerusalem, A.D. 66, Cecil Roth, The Harvard Theological Review, Volume 49, Number 3, published by Cambridge University Press. The author, E. R. Goodnorth, emphatically confirms as fundamental to his main thesis the accepted view that there was a completely effective rabbinic ban on any sort of iconographic representation for whatever purpose. E. R. Goodnoff confirms, without a doubt, the rabbis prohibited the representation of anything by pictures or diagrams for whatever purpose. Example 2. Assume that the contemporaries meant exactly what they said. Quoted from Cecil Roth, a British Jewish historian. <laughs> 